Hello, I am officially back from the dead. Really thought that was gonna have more fanfare. Can you guys tell that I've forgotten how to YouTube? I've ugh, forgotten how to YouTube. Um. Uh, okay, here's something I haven't forgotten. Hi, everybody. My name is Micah Gonzalez, M-I-C-A Gonzalez with a Z. And wow, does it feel good to say that again. So I haven't uploaded a video in about 10 months, haven't filmed one in nearly a year, and I think a part of me wanted to film this just to try and get back into the swing of things. And what typically happens when a creator does a long hiatus, they usually talk about what they did. So I guess this is the part where I do that. So here's what happened. Since my break, I got a cat. I started working with a company called Coco Cart. I flew to Iceland. I buried myself in work. I moved. I became IKEA's number one customer because did I mention I moved? Furniture shopping is fun, yo. I flew to Bangkok, buried myself in work. Went to Bali, buried myself in work again. Got bored, thought about leaving my content creation hiatus. Chickened out, stayed in the hiatus, got bored again. Once again, considered leaving the hiatus, quickly chickened out. Repeat that cycle a couple of times and here we are today. If you are watching this video, then I have obviously stopped chickening out and we are hopefully out of the creation hiatus for at least a long time. And that's it. That's where I've been. End of video. Yeah, we all know that's not true. I did want to film this video to get back in the swing of things, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have an ulterior motive. Truthfully speaking, talking about where I've been isn't nearly as important to me as talking about why I stopped creating in the first place. And it's not for reasons you might think. You see, when creators go on hiatus most times, at least most times I've seen, it has something to do with burnout. Many a popular YouTuber has posted a video about burning out at one point in their career, and I get it. Creating all the time with the expectation to create all the time is pretty hard. Which is kind of why it's awkward for me to admit that wasn't the case for me. And look, I'm not sitting here saying burnout isn't a thing. I'm immune to burnout. Not at all. I've experienced creative burnout a couple times in the last five years, and it's not pretty. All I mean to say is that there are a lot of reasons someone might stop creating, and burnout isn't the only one. In my case, the reason I did an almost one-year hiatus, this is gonna sound weird, but I was happy. Before I lose you, let me explain. One of the biggest reasons I started creating content, even back when it was just like my cute little blog in 2018, was because creating gave me joy that I can't quite put into words. I've always been happier when I was creating, and creating anything was often something I did to unwind, to process, to share, to make an impact on someone's life, even if that someone was just me. When I was working my first job out of college and it got stressful, guess what helped me get my mind off things? That's right, creating. And when something big in my life happened and I needed to process it, guess what helped? That's right, creating. Heck, even when I got bored and I was looking for something meaningful to spend my time on that wasn't Netflix, guess what helped? And yes, you're catching on, you smarty pants, you. Creating. I was always happiest when I was creating. That's just how I was wired. So it came as a big surprise to me when early this year, I didn't feel the need to create anymore because I was genuinely happy. It was those small milestones like getting a cat, moving to my dream place, being in healthy relationships with my friends and family. It's gonna sound really cheesy, but I just think that these things made me feel whole and I just didn't need anything else in my life to feel that way. Yes, even the one source of constant joy in my life, which had always been creating. Maybe it's some kind of reverse quarter life crisis, but since turning 25 last year, I gained a new outlook on what's given me joy. And my goals in life have evolved to accommodate that. And just because I'm back to creating now doesn't mean I'm suddenly unhappy or I'm looking for something to fill a hole that's just opened up in my life. The simple explanation is that after nearly a year of rediscovering what gives me joy, I should have expected that it would lead me back to creating. After all, it's made me so happy all these years. Why stop now? And that wraps up this hopefully coherent video. I hope it makes sense and even if it doesn't, it's a good reminder for me to one day look back and remind myself to always follow my joy and to embrace any and every change that comes along with that. And though I've been away for a while, I've actually missed you guys. I've missed writing for you, recording for you, hanging out with you online, and just, I sincerely hope to get back to all of that soon. As a thank you for sticking with me, watch out for my next video coming soon. I think you're gonna like it.